Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. You know how you get good at standardized math tests? Practice, just like in juggling. Today we're going to go over 12 practice problems for an ASVAB arithmetic reasoning exam. You want a notebook and pencil in front of you. Pause the video, do the problem before I do it. Unpause it, watch how I do it. You get more support materials at asvab tutoring.com. There's a great app you could download with lots of support materials. Let's get started. Okay, problem number one. Jocelyn walked a dog from 6.40 to 7.30 one day. If she was paid at the rate of $6 per hour, how much did she earn that day? So let me look at the answers, see if any of them just jump out at me. None of them do. So I'm going to have to figure out the time from 6.40 to 7.30, then multiply it by this. So 6.40 to 7 is 20 minutes, and then 7 to 7.30 is 30 minutes, so it's a total of 50 minutes. But this is a cost per hour, so I'm going to turn that into an hourly fraction. It is 5 6 of an hour. My hours are going to cancel. My 6s are going to cancel. I multiply it together to get $5. Correct answer, answer D right there. Okay, number two, Weston and Victor shared a million dollar property. Victor received 125,000 and Weston the rest. What fraction of the property did Weston receive? So I, I am highlighting the important numbers here um, and circling key ideas. So the total price was a million. Victor got 125, so Victor got 125. That means Weston gets a million minus 125,000. That's going to be 875. And that's going to give me my total of a million. Right, three zeros on all of that. What fraction of the property did Weston receive? So that's my fraction right there, 875 over 1,000. Let me look at my answers over there. None of them jump out at me. So this is 125, 250 would be a quarter, right? 250 would be 25 cents on a dollar. 25 would be a quarter. This is half of a quarter. Half of a quarter is an eighth. So that means this is one eighth. This has to be seven eighths. So that has to be answer A. So that's a pretty quick way to do it. Problem number three, the pet store has six puppies. So I want to keep track of what we're talking about. Selling for $104 each and 12 kittens, 12 kittens selling for $24 each. Two puppies and eight kittens were left. In dollars, what was the ratio of sales of puppies to kittens? So if this is how many are left, I'm going to do six minus two, which is four. Eight kittens are left. I started with 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. So in dollar terms, what was the ratio of sale of puppies to kittens? So I have the ratio of puppies to kittens, but what I need to note is the ratio of dollars, right? So right here, in dollar terms, what's the ratio of puppies to kittens? So it's 4 to 4 or 1 to 1 or 104 to 24. So let's see if that goes in, in to equal one of those ratios over there. That's going to be 52 to 12. I'm just cutting it in half. 26 is half of 52. 26 to 6. Keep cutting it in half. 13 to 3. And there it is, answer B right here. Kind of a tricky problem because you're comparing the ratio of dollars, not actual animals. Number four, a woman is looking for a bigger square office. So this is an important word right here. It's a square office. She finds an office twice the area of her current office. The perimeter of her current office is 88. So the perimeter all the way around the outside, this plus this plus this plus this is equal to 88. And I'm assuming it's a square as well. So that means 88 divided by 4x is 22 per side. 
22 per side. How many square feet is the new office? How many square feet is the new office? Well, the old office is 22 times 22, right? Because area is how much is inside. Perimeter is how much is around the outside. So I multiply those together. 4 and 4, placeholder. 4 and 4, so our current office is 484. The new office is twice that, so I've got to double this number to find the area of the new office. And I get 8, 16, carry the 1, and I get 968. Correct answer, answer D right there. The ratio of the sides of two squares, so I got two squares, is 3 to 1. So the side is 3 to 1. What is the ratio of the perimeter? Well, if the ratio of the side is 3 to 1, this would be 1, 1, and 1. This perimeter of this one would be 4. This would be 3, 3, and 3. It would be 12. What is the ratio of 1 to the other? It is 12 to 4. And then that's going to reduce to 6 over 2, 3 to 1. So it's a little bit of a distractor. I'm thinking they're going to compare areas, but they're still really comparing length of side, so that ratio is going to stay the same. So the correct answer, answer B right there. Okay, next problem. Every June, a restaurant's rent is adjusted to the cost of living. The rent has been $15.50 a month. That's where it's starting. And the cost is going up 3.7%. So I'm going to have to figure out how much the increase is and then add it to the original amount and that's going to be the new rent. So I'm going to take 1550 and I got to multiply it by 3.7%. I convert this to a decimal. I think of this thing, this percent thing is an arrow and this is going over two places. So I go over 1, over 2 to get 0 0.037 multiplying my rent times 3.7% or 0 0.037 to get the amount of increase. So 7 times 0 is 0. 35, right? 35, carry the 3. 35, 36, 37, 38, carry the 3, and I get 10. Placeholder, 3 goes right there. 3 times 0. 3 times 15, carry the 1. 15 plus 1 is 16, carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3, 4. I'm going to add this together. I got the 0, 2, but zeros give me all zeros. So it's 0, 5, 13, carry the 1, 7, 5. And then I got 1, 2, 3 decimal places. 1, 2, 3 decimal places. So it's 57, 35. And I got to take that. That's my rent increase, 57, 35. 57, 35 plus 1550. So here's my 5735. I add those two together and I get 35 cents. 7, 10, carry the 1, 6, 1, 1607. 35 is my new rent with the rent increase of 5735. So there's my correct answer, answer C right there. What is the cost of mailing a package that weighs two pounds, three ounces? So I have two pounds, three ounces. If the cost is $1.50, so I got $1.50 plus five cents, plus five cents for each ounce, over six ounces. So I got to first convert everything into ounces. You got to know there are 16 ounces to the pound. 16 times 2 is 32, so that's 32 ounces, plus my 3 ounces is 35. 2 pounds is the 32 ounces plus the 3 ounces, 35 ounces, but for each ounce over 6. So i got to subtract 6 ounces from here to get 29 ounces. So i got to pay $1.50 plus 5 cents per ounce after six ounces. So I gotta pay five cents on that 29 plus that dollar fifty. 
Well, 10 cents would be 290. Five cents would be half of that. So I'm gonna take that 290, cut it in half to get 145. I'm gonna take that dollar 45 and add it right there. And that's gonna give me a buck 95. No, it's not, it's gonna give me 295. Correct answer, answer D right there. Next problem, how many feet of chain fence are necessary to enclose a dog pen that is square and had an area of 64? So it, again, it's square. I gotta take the square root of 64. What times what equals 64? It's gonna be eight times eight. And these are feet, right? Eight feet times eight feet gives me the 64 square feet. But then I want to know the perimeter around the outside. Eight feet plus eight feet plus eight feet plus eight feet is going to be 32 linear feet. So I need 32 feet of fencing right there. All right, next problem. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. And if you like these videos, please hit the like button and share them with anybody else who might be studying for the ASVAB arithmetic reasoning exam. The way you do well on exams is practice. So you gotta do a lot of practice exams, get in the flow of doing these problems. Again, pause the video, do the problem before I do it, unpause, watch how I do it. All right, Theo purchased a shirt for 2205. If the sale tax was 5%, what's the total price of the shirt? I'm looking at my answers. Uh, nothing's really jumping out, so I'm going to have to do 2205 times that 5%. So I'm going to have to move the decimal 1, 2 to get 0, 5, right? So I'm going to multiply by 5%. 5 times 5, 25, carry the 2. 10, carry the 1, 10, 11. These are all zeros. So I'm going to add that together to get 1, 1, 0, 2, 5. And then I got the decimal over one, two, and also one, two right here. So the decimal is over four places, one, two, three, four. So it's 1.10. So the shirt is 2205. Shirt is 2205. The sales tax at dollar 10. I add those together to get 2315. Correct answer, answer B right there. Next problem, a radar is designed to report the track of an aircraft every second. This radar reports 30 tracks in one minute. So we're talking about one track per second. So we gotta convert minutes to seconds. So it does 30 tracks in one minute or 60 seconds. What percentage of the time did the radar track the aircraft? Well, I have it right here, 30 over 60. That's a fraction. I could reduce that fraction to 3 6 or 1 half. Convert that to a percentage. 50%, correct answer, answer C right there. All right, two more problems. You're doing great if you're still here. Levi just bought two boxes. The first box is a square with each side measuring 10 units. So that's 10 by 10 and four units deep or four units high. So it goes back four units. The second box is a rectangle and has twice the volume of the square box. So the volume of this is base times height, 10 times 10, 100, 100 times 4, 400. So that means the volume here is 400. The second box has twice the volume, so the volume here is twice 400. 400 times 2 is 800. So the volume of the second box is 800. If the height of the second box is five units, so let's say it goes five units deep, so it's five units deep, and the width is 10, what is the length? So what is this? So I know the volume is base times length, or width times length times depth. So I have 10 times five times x. 10 times five is 50 times x is gonna equal my volume of 800. 
and then I got to get x by itself. I got to divide both sides by 50. That's going to give me x by itself. And then 800 divided by 50, 800 divided by 50. 50 is going to go into 80 once. 300, and 50 will go into 300 six times, so it'll be 16. So this has to be 10 by 16 by 5 to have twice the volume of this. So correct answer, answer A right there. Okay, last problem. The shaded region of the design shown is to be painted. So I'm painting this gray area here. What is the area of that shaded region? Remember that pi is equal to 3.14. So you need a couple things here. You need to know the area of a circle is pi r squared. So that's the area of a circle. I know that this length is 10, so this diameter of the circle would also be 10. So that means the radius would be 5. So I could find the area of that circle, times it by 2 for the area of that circle, take the area of the two circles, subtract it from that rectangle, and that'll give me that shaded region. So let's find the area of the first circle, pi r squared, where r radius is 5. That's going to be 25 pi. Then I'm going to multiply it by pi, which is 3.14. 3.14 times 25. That's 20, carry the 2, 5, 7, 15. My placeholder, 2 times 4, 8. 2 and 6, 0, 15, carry the 1, 7, 8, 7. So area of the one circle right here is 78, and I'm over 1, 2, so I'm over 1, 2, 78, 50. That's one circle. I got another circle the same size, so I'm going to add that to this circle, 78, 50. That's going to give me 0, 10, carry the 1, 17, carry the 1, 15, 157. Good Lord, 157. Pen's not working. So 157 is the area of this circle and this circle. This rectangle is base times height, so 20 times 10, 200, minus that 157. It's going to give me 43. So the area of that shaded region is the remaining mount. Answer C right there. Well done if you made it all the way through this test. Keep studying and you'll do great on the ASVAB. The more you practice, the better you get. The only way to practice is you got to do a lot of problems. All right, thank you for watching.